Hello everyone. Um, yeah, I'm getting my rest from that jet lag, but I am feeling better. Um, one of my viewers had asked me, how did I get my hair style from the video that I made um, using the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Treatment? I always wanted to do that. <laughs> she was more interested in how I achieved that hairstyle. My hair is already straightened again. So um, I'm going to show you how I achieved that look. Right now, I just have it in a little ponytail. Just a little ponytail since I um, had uh, straightened my hair out. And I didn't want my hair on my shoulders. So... The first thing I'm going to do, of course, is take the ponytail out gently. I have really been enjoying my hair straight. It is such a um, um, change of pace from wearing the braids and the wigs. So what I'm going to do is, um, ooh, I got a big old forehead. <laughs> I just use five rollers, these big rollers right here. I just use five of these because I'm not going so much for the curl as I am for the body. So, and I just finger part it right here to get the bang. And if I do have to comb or, you know, make it a little straighter, I just use my little white tooth comb right here. But I try not to use a comb in my hair at all. Um, and then I take the front bang section and I roll this going back. I start out tight at the ends, but then I just kind of loosen it up as I go up the hair strand. And that's it. And then I do the same thing. I just finger park this on the side. Um, Y'all never mind my buckshots because it's not about edge video. <laughs> it's about the hairstyle that she wanted to see how I achieved it. And then I do the same thing here. Roll it around. Pull it tight. And then just kind of loosen it as I go up the hair strand. Um, this will ensure that my curl won't come out like too tight to my head. Because I like a lot of body instead of curl. So uh, my hair is still extremely soft from the flat ironing yesterday. And um, actually I was trying to figure out figure out um, how I'm going to keep it from reverting. So I've been watching a couple of videos on that. So I may try a product um, maybe by Garnier Fruit Teas or, or, or somebody like that to see if I can get some sort of anti-humectant. Although the Aveda works perfect, I just didn't think about it when I was flat ironing my hair. But I should have used that since I have it still and, um, you know, and did it that way. But, oh well. And so then, so I got three here. And then I take the crown because I like kind of like a little height in the crown. Makes me look a little taller than 5'2". <laughs> The height probably gives me five two and a quarter, but I'll, I'll take it. Every little quarter of an inch helps. So then what I do is I part it going across like this in the back. Being careful to separate the hair. And I'm not really like doing serious combing just to coax the hair up to where I need it and then okay that's good enough and then take another hair roller and roll tight and then just kind of relax the tension and just let it roll loose and then the fifth one I do the same thing And 
I just kind of pull this up a little high. I'm in front. And I roll this one loose. Just like that. Now, out of all the rollers that I have, all five of them, this one is the most loose one because. I'm not trying to, I want, you know, the little length I got, you know, I want to look at it and celebrate it. So then the next thing I do is I put my little do-rag on. There. There we go. You know, I'll look like Grandma Ethel <laughs> in the process. Nothing against Grandma Ethel. <laughs> Please don't get mad if you got a Grandma Ethel. But, um. It's going to come out good. So what I do, as you notice, I didn't use any products on my hair ever since I flat ironed it, which was yesterday. I don't, I didn't put any, I didn't follow through and put oil on or anything like that because it's still soft, it's not dry, and it still has a little shine to it. So I, I think I'm okay to, to at least tomorrow or the next day. Uh, it's real humid out right now. So, um, I'm going to stay in the house because I try to let this go back because I'm not going to put any more heat in until, you know, till it's time and now is not the time. So anyway, that's how I roll it up. Once I'm done with this, I'll come back and show you how I take it down and how I style it. I will be using one track for thickness and it may be, it may hang maybe an inch or two longer than my own natural hair but I'm good okay with that. next morning for my um, style I'm gonna take my scarf off you see I still got the five rollers <laughs> looking a hot mess <laughs> anyway um <clears throat> excuse me this is gonna be quick and easy I just take the rollers out and my hair is not like curl it's just bent which is what I want because I want a loose undefined bend in my hair and uh, once again I didn't use any product in my hair at all so and this is day three of the uh, flat iron that I did so I'm taking out all the rollers kind of finger combing my hair into place. Now, once again, you guys know that I have very thin hair. See that? It's very thin, very fine. I was born like that. So to spice it up, what I do is I just put one track in, one clip on track. So what I do is I go like right around in here, separate the hair. I'm, I'm going to have to look over your head. Separate the hair like this. Oh, let me try that again. Like that. And then I take and I position this first clip over my ear. And that will kind of set me up to end up over my ear on the other side. And I just slide it and clip it in. Even if I turn around, you probably wouldn't be able to see how I do it. Um, and I just follow that part around. Slide. I'll just do this last one. You probably can't see it, but slide and clip. Okay.
and I like it kind of like wild you know not so stiff and defined You get the idea, right? <laughs> and that's it. It gives me a little bit more weight at the bottom and a slight bit of length. Um, like I say, about two inches in length. This is my hair. This is the clip on. So, and there you have it. If you notice, I didn't use any combs. I just finger combed it. See that? Still got my nappy knots. <laughs> I'll deal with them when I go out the house. I don't generally do anything to them unless I'm going somewhere. you just play around with it to until you get it get the look that you want to achieve and that's it very simple just with my fingers and um yeah that's it oh thank you thank you thank you for all of the birthday wishes that I received I, I love you guys so much and, and when I say that I truly truly mean it from the bottom of my heart I'm so thankful that God has given me another year and um, I'm just so grateful for that because nothing is promised to anyone. So um, just know that I really appreciate all of your birthday wishes. And I love each and every one of you. Mm, take care. May God bless you with as many years as he has blessed me with. Uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.